Hey, I'm Pen USB Mike, a pixel artist animator that has worked on games like Domekeeper, Shogun Showdown, and right now, my own little project called Bullet Bunny. This tutorial is a condensed version. I release unedited versions on my itch.io, and for my Patreons, they can download it for free. Check out the links below. Like I said, they're, they're unedited from start to finish, including mistakes, more information. I have about 20 tutorials banked up on itch.io that my patrons can uh, access all of them for free. So check that out if you're interested. But yeah, let's get going. So this tutorial, I want to kind of go through the process of top down, which I haven't done many tutorials on. We're gonna be doing an attack, so swiping down and then kind of seeing how you can translate that attacking down to attacking up which is very different but there's a couple little things you can do that will make it easier so right now i have this this character it's uh from my stranded series that is slowly building up but we have an idle down right now kind of a move down a roll idle up and move up so slowly working on him and i thought it would be great to go over the attack animation and and see what we can learn from it so with that being said I'll first uh, show you another hero I did it's kind of top-down kind of a bit older you can see the runs similar and the attack down is quick attack up same thing so some key things we want we want to take from this is the head position so the head position here when just running down or in its idle position is just kind of hanging out in a neutral position goes up and down in the run and then with the attack right away it, it darts to the right where his weapon is slashing to the left and then it kind of it leaps forward quite a bit and then it slowly will return to that neutral position so that first frame is darting to the right a bit slashing far to the left a bit looking to the left and then it comes back so that's the main thing we're going to focus on is the head right now and then you can see the attack up is is somewhat the same but darting to the right let's kind of take that and translate it to this uh this other hero that we're working on i'll start a fresh canvas so 192 by 192 is usually what i start at so we'll just we'll open that up we'll make a bunch of layers because we're going to copy and paste and for animation, you want you want to have your layers separated. It makes things so much easier. That's a rule everyone should follow. And we have a gun in there. So we'll just remove layer eight. And right now we have, we can go through and double check all of them. Our background here, so layer one is nothing. So this layer two, we'll name background. Layer three is the shadow, which is just for looks. Most of the time you, you won't use it. Layer four is the backpack. And layer five is the body slash legs underneath. Layer six is the cloak or robe. Layer seven is the head. Layer nine, the sword or weapon. So now we have this, our layers separated. It will make our workflow so much easier and more efficient. Mistakes won't be as costly. If you make a, you know, a big mistake and you have say one or two layers, it's gonna be quite the pain to uh, clean up. So we'll also make another layer for the VFX or FX. And that's gonna be the sword swipe. So we know right away, just from looking at our, our old kind of layout, we want, the head shift over here and then that's frame two and then frame three we want it over here so we can go ahead and make our, our keyframes and we can start by making that first keyframe or i mean sorry that last keyframe where the head's a little bit over here and looking towards that direction just a bit and then we can go ahead and make the sword the sword's going to be a bit up here so i just flip that quickly and right now it's in front of his head. That doesn't make any sense. And we can quickly just go to cell properties. You can open that up and you can go to Z index and we can move. So it was at zero. You can see it's in front of the head and we want it behind the head. So one is good enough. So we'll just keep it like that. But you can go all the way down and it will be behind. It will be behind the background as well. But let's just keep that at, at one. So now we have the head movement. 
And what we want to do is we want to bring the backpack kind of up here. The, the one leg will be forward, the one will be back because it's in kind of like a, a pose where his, he's striking his legs are, are separated quite a bit. So we can go ahead and quickly move this leg back a bit because it's not going to be in sight. This leg will be up a bit, maybe over. We can remove some of this. And the backpack, I'm going to use the V tool to quickly jump to that layer. So you saw we were on whatever layer we were. So let's just say we're on the cloak. If you hold V, you can see it highlights the cloak. But if you click or if you hoover over the backpack, you'll see it highlights that. And if you click it, it will jump to that layer. So a little, little quick trick tip there. And the backpack we're going to want kind of up more towards the right. And we can always adjust that. This is just the main keyframe. So the most important one thing to get correct is the cloak here. So we're saving it for last. And this, this kind of triangle here, the darker section, that's always leading to his head. So we're gonna wanna keep that triangle kind of consistent where its head is somewhere below it and making some sort of triangle shape. It doesn't need to be perfect, but just something to keep consistent. And you want that volume to be somewhat the same as it was before. You can go ahead and count pixels to keep it very consistent, or you can just do the eye test. It would be cool if there was a little tool that down here said this was X amount of pixels. And then if you went over here and, and highlighted this, it was X amount of pixels as well. But as far as I know, that's not a tool, could be. Let's go ahead and, and keep working on this this cloak here. So these don't make sense, so we can we can go ahead and erase those. And right now it looks it looks okay. We can we can flare out the cloak a bit more, make it more dramatic. But I'd say let's not worry about the cloak too much at this point because we're going to be adding the physics and everything as we go. The most important part is making sure this this keyframe here is appealing to the eye and we can go ahead and jump to the legs maybe the legs need to be back a bit more and that would make the, the shadows not too important but just for the overall appeal of it we can keep it back we can bring we can erase some from the cloak here and as well the underneath and we can kind of just flip through so this will be the last the last frame, so it's not make too much sense right now. I don't think I like his uh, the left foot, his right foot right now. So let's let's go ahead and, and move that. Let's try it up a bit. Maybe just maybe just completely gone. Um, we can always adjust that later. Perhaps the bag is too too close. We can move this over to appear as if it's uh, tilting a bit. Shave some down there and kind of just get a general idea of, of this. Perhaps we want the bag kind of above the cloak as well, because right now it doesn't make as much sense. So we could we could even try bringing that above using the, the index, cell index as well. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Bring it one, two, but behind the head just two and what we can do is just remove this little part for now and kind of just twist the bag a bit maybe it's appearing too big we can we can chop it down slim it down a bit and this little guy here we can kind of keep we can animate that you know fling back and forth as we go but perhaps that's better the cloak is kind of not as important then we can try that. And one thing we'll add to get a final feel of this keyframe is the, the swipe. So what I'm gonna use is the circle tool. And I'm gonna kind of make a big circle and just line up the point here, the point of the sword with the circle. And then I'm gonna just slap it on. What we can do is erase a section and it's gonna give you this crescent moon or what, whatever type of moon it is. It's gonna give you that look and you can adjust this as, as needed. 
but that's a nice smooth VFX look already. So we can um, leave that as is, adjust it later on, but right now it's a smooth thing. And what you can do with this later on when we're doing the upwards motion or upwards attack is we can just flip it and hopefully use the same one. Maybe some minor adjustments. But right now let's, let's, uh, let's leave that as is. So we got our neutral pose, slice, and that's gonna be our two keyframes. Top down tends to be very quick in most cases. It, you can do some more dramatic things, but this base at attack right now is gonna be a quick swipe. And you could do a combo and have a swipe back as well, but we're just gonna focus on this first quick swipe. Because we're doing the up version as well, we don't have as much time. So let's just focus on the one swipe and not a combo. So with that being said, we can go ahead and, and start making some in-betweens, you know, that kind of build up frame we could add where his head's kind of over here a bit more and the sword's kind of building up a bit more over here quickly. So the heads, if you go between, it's a little odd right now. If we adjust some more things, oops, maybe his foot comes back a tad, the, the cloak comes down so we remove here, some over here, and then adding some as well. With that we move down this, this stripe and this like I said before kind of follows the chin under the head so we, we can adjust that. So now we have kind of slight movement. We can add, we can see here this, this piece is kind of separating so we can add that so it's more consistent and we can make sure it's in this one as well. So now you got your three main kind of keyframes. Quickly, this one switches over. Maybe the bag moves too much, but let's see. Oh, that didn't move at all. So maybe just one up, kind of like it over, over and then swipe, a quick swipe. And then if you wanna add the combo, it's just, you can follow along, um, pause it if needed, and just add kind of the sword on this side and kind of everything would be reversed this way. And that would just make it a quick two swing combo. So now that we have those, these three frames kind of figured out, we can go ahead and start adding some in-betweens. If you want a quick slash, I would do less in-betweens between one and two and then kind of just have some aftermath frames on three. So we'll start with that. And we'll kind of start by deleting this VFX. We can toggle the background off and then toggle onion skin. And what onion skin does is just, it shows the, the frame behind it or in front of it, whatever you set it to with these little markers here. You can see I'm adjusting it here. Right now it's on the frame before and the frame after. So if we go to frame four, we can see the VFX from frame three, and we can kind of just follow that kind of line and work with it. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of trail the line of this, just in sections, you know, and just kind of, kind of make it, I kind of like doing it on the bends. That part was a little too straight for me, so the bends kind of work work well in my eyes so let's just go ahead and add that there perhaps and maybe a little tiny one over here and what we can do is add another frame because we know this this VFX is gonna go a little tiny bit more and you want it to fade real quick especially this this one here so you kind of want to start erasing it. You know, it goes from that volume, say it was 12 pixels, now it's three. Uh, this one, somewhere along those lines as well. Perhaps even just two. And then we can check out, add one more frame, kind of just add the remaining pixels and see how it looks. So now, it's gonna be static, not much going on, but you can see it looks like an attack already. And one thing I'm gonna do is speed up the frames. It's The default is 100, which is, is pretty standard, but I'm gonna drop it down to 75. I find I've been liking that 
and that's just faster frame rate. I, I've been liking that a bit more. It kind of works better with my VFX. So now we have, it looks like a slash. No movement afterwards with the with the body, but let's go ahead and, and, and add that in. So now we we know this this last frame. We want it to be somewhat closer to the neutral position. So let's go ahead and move that head. We can even take this head as well and, and copy and paste it there. So it's now in that position. And what we can do is just move it down, say down one and left one. And then we got a good idea of where that's going to be. We can do the same thing with the sword. Copy that one and bring it here. And what you can do is move it up one and to the left as well. So it's kind of just coming together. So the head and sword, the cloak will save for a bit later. The legs, we can do the same thing as well. And perhaps since the attack stance was pretty close, the right leg, his left, we can just work on this leg and kind of move it up a bit so it's kind of walking into that neutral position. The backpack, we can go ahead and copy that and paste it and we can just move that up one and to the right. So now we have the bag and head and sword kind of in position, better position. We can now focus kind of on the cloak and we can copy that last one and paste it and kind of just adjust it slightly. So this would be down a bit, so we'll erase some there. Perhaps it's moved in just a tad. And with that being said, we can jump to the legs and kind of just erase this. This side of the cloak, we'll jump back to the cloak layer using the V tool. We can move this side down a bit just here and there, and then perhaps erase that. And then if we jump from six to the first frame, it's kind of just looks pretty good. So now let's, with editing that one, that one, that last frame, let's just see how it looks. You can see a little bit more movement in this, in this slash. And one thing you'll notice is the sword, it looks small and the slash comes all the way out here. That's more for gameplay wise. If you wanted it, you know, to actually be consistent, the, the sword would come to about here, you know, and it doesn't cover much. You want, if you're, if this is the main character and you're slashing, you want, you want this entire section to be able to, you want it to be a hitbox that could actually hit the enemy. So that's, that's the whole purpose for that. So let's go ahead and now, now we'll work on the fourth frame. So the fourth frame is going to be an alteration of the third frame, which is this one, this keyframe, and we're just going to be moving stuff slightly. So maybe the sword has some, some kickback, it goes one back. Maybe the head comes forward even a tad bit more. The cloak could slowly kind of settle in perhaps into position a bit more so you can, you can move things down the bag perhaps even settles down on his back a bit more we'll worry about this antenna a bit more later and let's just see that just looks like i moved everything down a bit perhaps that's not the best but we can start moving everything back up so let's just see everything comes down perhaps the bag doesn't yeah perhaps the bag comes up it's kind of i think that looks better to me and then it starts switching through so even we didn't even add or edit the fifth frame but i think the head and everything it's the same as the third but it kind of because there's like like recoil in in the fourth frame it kind of kind of settles then the bag comes down the head comes up the sword moves forward so we can go ahead and, and keep that perhaps we change the the cloak but then we'll add one more in between so we'll have to adjust these vfx or the slash because you're gonna have duplicate here so we're gonna erase that one and then just bring this one back here and so this this in between then we can start kind of really bringing it towards this this final one so this head is up here so we can even bring it here and perhaps it it starts to turn let's see how that looks the bag i mean the sword can really start coming into position here it's coming down perhaps it's swinging into that position so here and then come so that looks okay it's kind of in between the bag we'll have to adjust the cell properties i think switch it back there and and that might be okay already just kind of slowly we could we could bring the cell properties back let's do i think it was on two and we can kind of just erase a tiny bit so it doesn't look like it it's completely just vanishing perhaps that's better i think so 
you can see here I'm, I'm looking at this preview window constantly and it and it looks looks really good so let's just see the cloak's not done yet but let's just see how we're looking everything's looking pretty good the the feet could use some love and and the cloak as well and, and we kind of knew that because we haven't been touching it we can make the antenna we can do that quickly because that should be fairly simple so it moves down we can say um, the second frame is kind of kind of wants to be in that original position so it's kind of moving back it slices let's say it goes hard this way first and then it comes hard back and then it's kind of flint settling into position and then it comes back into this position so let's see how that looks just a little touch not many people will notice but looks cool so let's uh let's do the cloak first because the cloak might hide the feet a lot of the time so i think it's better to tackle the cloak first so Right away, I think I want more movement. So we might go ahead and not worry about the the stripe and the, uh, the darker color right now. We're just gonna try to get some, some flowiness in it so it feels like it's flowing a bit more and then returning to position. So say he swipes, perhaps this is kind of up more. This is down more and we might fill this in, you know, something like that a bit. And then this will kind of even could even it could even come back a bit, I think. And we can see the onion skin here working in our favor, just kind of doing its thing. So we'll try to focus on this side, the left side a bit more. And perhaps it settles down as it's coming into position. It could still be out a bit more and then it's kind of settled here. So it's hard to see, but slashes. Oh, I think we missed this, this frame. It kind of might add a bit more so we can even make this one a bit more dramatic like it's really up there and then perhaps it starts coming down a bit more so kind of cool i think if we add this bit the darker color and kind of have it play more of a role in informing the shape of it that might be cool maybe a more dramatic say it's it's flared out here and we can have it a bit more dramatic here where it's coming down quicker so let's try something like that and then here would be even more. So we'll kind of reshape it, kind of have the cape come this way. I think, I think that might be the best approach for that side at least. We could erase a bit more here, a little too much. Doesn't look good with the consistency, but I think that side looks looks good. The the right side is, is a little tricky. I mean, not tricky, sorry. Um, <laughs> the right side doesn't look as good right now, but let's, uh, let's try to work that. Let's try to work something out here. So it's flaring up here, so perhaps it, it uh, flares out a bit over here so we could we could bring this all up i think and then it's kind of like high in there and then it comes down a bit so we want to bring this slowly kind of same thing as the other side kind of kind of like it's like floating into position again and we'll add those stripes afterwards since they kind of all over the place and then we can do a bit more over here make it kind of faded down more and even a couple more we'll have to make this bag kind of place more. So that's kind of like flaring out a tad and it's kind of coming back into position. In this last frame, we can even add it a little bit more and then into the final position. So these two are quite different, comes down. I think we need to make some adjustments here. Perhaps this comes too far from my liking, but we're getting there, we're slowly getting there. And then maybe that, that little, little thing is too much. So let's add the, the stripes and, and see where we're at with the, the final kind of look of it. So perhaps that one's there-ish and this one's kind of here and then it coming back down just on the edge and then it kind of starts to form into a bit higher. This one will be somewhat the same. So that should lose a bit here. This should come down a bit more since it was very close to that one. And I think that will look better. So a little adjustments there and then comes into the final position. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's just fix the, the leg that's kind of disappearing on us. <laughs> so it starts out, we want to eye drop that, and maybe this one is already going back. Let's cover, let's cover this piece because it's kind of it's kind of like a stray pixel, is what I call it. It kind of just doesn't fit in, perhaps this one as well. So let's just cover those with the cloak, kind of hiding up, and same with that one. And that looks that looks better. It's gonna be a weird movement but it's it's so quick in game and it's such a little minor thing we can we can try to make the the foot kind of jump back in this frame no that frame so this one kind of comes up like so just slight movements and for the peel um the appeal is what is like if i'm showcasing it on on twitter or instagram or any 
any kind of social media or if I'm selling it on itch.io. I like to keep the shadows because it kind of sells it a little bit more. I, I don't know if that's weird, but I think people like kind of the shadow movement. So we'll just add, we'll just add to that a little bit. Just minor, never put too much effort into it, but you can just see it kind of like fading away and looks cool. So that's kind of quick downward, quick, well, not so quick, but uh, that's kind of the downward slash. And we'll go ahead and name that attack down and we'll kind of see how some of this can translate into the attack up so let's uh see if we can make this attack down take it and kind of transform it into an attack up and we're only tackling attack down and attack up because i i feel they translate better when you're when you're doing a top down animation you tend to tackle the run up run down the roll up roll down kind of tackle those at once and then the left and right which is the same in most cases because you just rotate them in engine those i i kind of treat those more like a side scroller platformer so they're going to look different quite a bit different if you go to uh, this guy here you can see the attack up and attack down are kind of similar and this is the same but but different mainly in this in the swipe and the, the head movements is quite the same but the cape is will be different but overall like it's it's quite different so right now we're just gonna for this tutorial we're gonna attack the attack we're gonna tackle the down and up and just kind of kind of round those out so right now I just copy and paste the attack down because I'm gonna start with this this keyframe and what you want to do is we can start with the sword but the sword if it's if it's uh this way to keep it consistent it's gonna be on the other side so on this side so we can flip it a bit and kind of just keep it on this side and then sell properties we're gonna switch this to behind everything pretty much not the shadow but behind everything and then you can adjust it move it up the cloak we can tackle next is gonna be filled in here so we can just use the paint bucket and then however you want the back design I think I had it like this in the idle let's just see the idle up I had some I have a shadow from from the back and and this so we'll go ahead and, and add that as well once we get the backpack I think I might do the shadow on the backpack just so we can track it a bit more and this is gonna move up so we want it in front of everything the head as well and we had this kind of we had that going on and then to keep I'll just steal the color I think it's the the same red we use for the cloak but just something like that and and then the head simple in this this scenario because it's pretty low res we are just erasing the nose i believe that's all we did yep so everything looks the same we did move the the backpack kind of over to that side to keep it consistent but everything looks 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 good and we already have our first frame done so now we can kind of just do that with these frames there's going to be a lot of things we're going to want to change like the head is going to the left on this side i think it will look better if we just we can try it but i think it might look better going the up uh, the other way so let's just go ahead and fill in the cloak and see if we can we can make that work a bit as intended fill in the cloak everywhere and then go back to the start and fill it here some minor adjustments and just continue filling in the cloak the stripe along like so and then we can we can flip the the bag over or we can do the vfx and with that you're just going to highlight all these and just control v flip it and and then we're just going to adjust this accordingly we can even do flip it horizontally because the sword's going to be more on this side i believe and now you can see like it's it's a mess but it's looking like they're attacking up the swipe is going the wrong way so we'll just we'll actually end up deleting these i think they're fairly simple to do, so we'll just go go from there. So I think what we want to do is begin to move, or we can do the bag first. So we can do the bag. Well, actually, let's do the feet. So the feet are will, should be quick. It's just going to be, we want the opposite. So when this one is here, we just, we kind of want it like that. We want to flip everything. So it's like, it's like uh, the same foot. If, if that same fighter did the same kind of footwork, it would be consistent. So what I'm doing is just highlighting and control H, flipping it around and kind of making sure that's all consistent. That's part of the cloak. So let's remove that 
and jump back to this. I think that moving in might actually work. And then final frame like so. So slowly getting there, we can work on the head quick, which will be a lot of removing the nose since it's looking up. So no nose, the bag might need some extra love all around, but we're gonna move these in front and then we can do the one be in front even more. But this one may need to be, it may need some more adjustment. We, we need to really move this um, kind of more so over here and perhaps the head, the head the other way. And same goes with this one. But let's just get the cell, the cell properties kind of going. I think it might be better to tackle the sword and kind of get that movement all in since, since it's not really. So let's, let's, let's see what we did here. So this sword, it's that way and then it swipes. So we want the swipe to be, we want the swipe to actually be on the other side. If we're making it consistent, we want the swipe to be over here, like so. And then the sword kind of come, it's finishing this way. So now we can kind of steal this one. And cut. We know it comes back a bit and then it comes back down and then it's gonna be going into that neutral position which is a little different but it's kind of going in and then the neutral position here will be over here um this bag can edit as well to make it more so now everything's kind of looking like it should except for the head circling the bag quite odd but let's go ahead and and see what we need to so the head kind of swings to the left there so we want it to swing for for doing it similar to this one we want it to swing to the right so kind of the opposite so what we can do is take this and kind of flip it and see where that brings us not where we want. We can do this manually, which might be easier. So we're gonna be on the head layer. So we know when he moves his sword, it's gonna to go towards the sword. So we move there and we want the head to go towards this side. So like that, and then it comes starting this way with the bag kind of more towards this side. So the head is now kind of moving back into the original position and the bag as well. So we know the bag. We can kind of take this last one for this and kind of shape it. And the antenna is going to be on the opposite side in all of these. So we can go ahead and, and move those like so. Move that, move this one and this one. And the head's going to need to, or the backpack's going to need to come forward. Move forward. I think we have one more where that's on the wrong side. Good. So now we can line up this a bit more like so. I think that makes more sense all around. So kind of a little bit, what's the word? It's a little strange, but once you once you get the hang of it, it feels it feels quick. Like you could do the same kind of movement in a lot less time. So now it's going up, but let's see the difference. So we can add those VFX now. Kind of same, same idea as before. We did one here, um, one early on, and that will give a better sense of, of overall direction of the swing. Oops, one here there delete that one so the main goal is to keep the consistency of that that swing for gameplay purposes to keep it kind of like that same kind of moon slash you get the same distance in front and behind the character so that's kind of the main goal so we're just gonna start doing the smaller details just this bag highlight on the back oops we'll just copy and paste that so let's always oh, shifts Let's just add it, keep it consistent, keep it long. These ones are good. This one's long as well. It's long, so it looks good. One thing I'm not entirely sold on is the cloak, in which we didn't really do anything except for filling it in. So let's go ahead and, and see, see what we can do with that. But first, let's do the bag comes up, maybe a bit too much. This can swing to the other side. Perhaps that comes too quick. Swings here. And we're gonna try to visualize a bit more. The head seems a bit chaotic, so we'll work backwards and kind of from that initial where it's this way So the head's already the head's on the wrong side and This is kind of just the cleanup part where you're just making sure everything's kind of consistent This head can come in a bit and then we know this one's down and that's that seems to be a little more consistent you can even come back Nope, oh, just moving up perhaps slowly into position. So I think the head the head's movement is, is good You can see it kind of comes down goes back to position the bag is good and then the sword we see here it's kind of the anticipation slashes i think the sword feels a bit too long you can even try a more dramatic kind of slash just make a brand new sword 
kind of work in from there. A little, little all over the place there, but uh, let's see what we can do with this. If it looks a bit better, if we just kind of tilt that a bit and kind of, so this one kind of comes in too quick. So let's let's fix that sword on frame 12. Kind of. So one thing you can do to check the slash is remove that first frame because that's kind of the idle pose and that's just uh that's mainly just to make sure it transitions into the idle smoothly or run you could say so we want to make sure that's kind of in place i'm not too sold on the sword placement right now so let's uh let's try to work on that perhaps we do need it this way this can be out a bit more. That's a bit better. Go ahead and, and save that, and then we can kind of focus on the cloak more. So I think the best way to tackle the cloak is to just start from scratch, kind of. So we'll delete these frames and just kind of, we'll highlight the base main color, which is this red here, and we'll just frame by frame kind of scope it in. So he, right away, he's, his head goes to the left and the movement is sort of that way. So that would mean the cloak kind of comes to the side a bit, but not too much, just a slight movement. So let's just slowly work our way up and even that might might be too much so let's slight movement is good and then it swings he swings all the way this way so perhaps it moves so quick that this is kind of still over here the cloak's still a bit over here so it kind of that might be too far but um, just to get the point across we delete some and the cloaks kind of more so this way than it is that more so to the right than it is so it comes this way and then we can have it start start to kind of just drift towards the left the momentum of the swing kind of carried carried through so we can kind of add some more to this side to say perhaps it's it's dropping a bit too and then we can add a tiny bit more so just kind of coming towards the edge of this and just slowly we can turn off the the shadow to see it better and we can kind of just work our way along and just kind of remove some from this side and then work our way or add some on this side so it's kind of shifting a tad and then fill in the middle like so that might be dramatic but we can always alter it or condense it a bit and then it kind of shifts back towards this side and then we can go ahead and copy the first frame i think on the last one just to get a better idea of where it should be and kind of just just shift a couple over so it looks like it's settling in place so let's see where we're at and already that looks way better it looks like it kind of shifts to the side but let's go ahead and, and make it a tad bit better I think it loses some consistency in areas right now so let's just here it's a little thick so we can, we can go ahead and just start removing one from kind of every every area and then this one kind of adds quite a bit so let's just remove some here and then it kind of settles back into place comes this way but it doesn't lose as much as we'd like so let's uh take away this whole section remove there and then it's kind of slowly building up to this position and we can even perhaps move this entire thing up like so and I think that looks a lot better than than just the original swap so let's uh let's go ahead and add some some lines and then perhaps the shadows as well and I usually start with the bottom one here kind of just like figure that whole section out and it's usually just one above um, the bottom except for on the sides like here would be one above the bottom one above the bottom and then it kind of comes up towards the side and then we're shifting back into the original so it looks good a little jiggle um, you can probably nitpick some areas here like this 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 uh, red dot here we can remove that it kind of looks out of place even though it is on the two here so maybe we can keep that consistent that's one thing you can do but it's below here so you kind of you don't see it as much so i think we'll just keep it we'll keep it out of the picture for most part except for that main idle frame so let's just go and fix this antenna a little bit more and moves that way kind of shifting make sure you're on the bag shifting the other way i'm gonna flip it and then it perhaps ricochets this way this way one looks odd in here this one like so and then i think we're we're in a good place we can differentiate the the two attacks we know this is up um, and this is down. We can work on the sword a bit more. It's a little, a tad little wonky in areas. I think that's a little bit better already. So we want to swing, kind of comes back a bit more and then kind of comes forward and then back into place. Last one can be a little bit closer in, I think. And it's this one here that's kind of the idle pose. That's really throwing it off, but if we remove it, it looks like 
So you can play around with that, you know, if you don't want that idle position, but it's kind of where it's at. Same thing with this. If you really focus on the initial spot, it's gonna look odd, but yeah, that's, if you made it this far, thanks. Thanks so much for uh, watching the video. I hope you learned a couple things and for now, take care.